Welcome back to Artificial Weekly. In today's video, we'll be seeing in detail about some humanoid robots as well as the future of humanoid robots. It's surely going to be an interesting video, but before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. Erica The 23-year-old Erica is the most advanced humanoid to emerge from a collaboration between the prestigious Telecommunications Research Institute International and the universities of Osaka and Kyoto. Hiroshi Ishiguro, the group's creator and a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, is its main proponent. He's most known for creating the android Geminoid HL1, which remarkably resembles him, down to the black leather jacket he always wore and the Beatles mop top made from his own hair. As one of the most attractive and intellectual androids, Erika is changing how Japan views robots. Only reciting from a digital file implanted inside of her will suffice for discussion. She participates in a five-year research program that aims to create a talking competition for those who live alone and talking companion for Japan's aging population. The Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute Worldwide, the University of Kyoto and Osaka University all work together to produce this smart humanoid ATR. She resembles Geminoid F, another creation of Ishiguro, who appeared in Sayonara, the cinematic adaptation of the same-named stage play by director Koji Fukada. However, as human interaction with robots increases, ethical issues have also come into the light that still requires suitable answers. Erika is a talking robot companion, but her designer, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, claims she has a soul. The creepy humanoid is more lifelike. Geminoid F They can grin, they can frown, and they can change their facial emotions more naturally than Ishiguro's earlier androids. Professor Ishiguro of Osaka University is well known for creating the telepresence android called the Geminoid HL1, which he can control from a distance, newly introduced. Geminoid F, the F standing for females, is designed to be controlled remotely by a person as well. During a news conference in Osaka, Ishiguro showed how the android could mimic the woman's facial expressions as she was seated in front of a computer outfitted with cameras and face tracking software. Amica Amica, the most intricately designed human-shaped robot yet built, is a shining example of innovative work in the field of human robotics. Amica is the perfect humanoid robot for human-robot interaction since it was created primarily as a platform for the development of future robotics technology. Amica's main objective is to offer a platform for the creation of robotics technologies, particularly those that include human-robot interaction. To interact with the public, technology such as a chest camera, binocular eye mount cameras, built-in microphones, and others are used, along with facial recognition software. Both GPT-3 and human telepresence can control interactions. Amica also has motors, moving fingers, arms, and neck. Sophia Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based business, created Sophia, a social humanoid robot. Activated on February 14th of 2016, Sophia debuted in front of the general public at South by Southwest or SXSW in Austin, Texas, USA in the middle of March. Sophia is advertised as a social robot who can imitate social behavior and elicit romantic sentiments into people. Hanson Robotics developed the artificial intelligence that powers Sophia. Sophia's source code, according to its director David Hansen, is around 70% open source. Sophia receives visual information about her surroundings using a computer vision program that analyzes data from cameras inside Sophia's eyes. It can maintain eye contact, track faces, and identify people. Using a natural language subsystem, it can converse and even process speech. The computer program ELIZA, which was one of the earliest efforts to simulate a human dialogue, and Sophia have a conceptual similarity. Like a chatbot, the software has been trained to provide pre-written replies to particular inquiries or phrases. Stock replies to queries like, is the door open or shut, are used to give the impression that the robot can comprehend dialogue. The AI behind Sophia examines conversations and gathers information that will help future answers be better. Hanson Robotics revealed intentions in 2017 to use a decentralized blockchain marketplace to introduce Sophia to a cloud environment. Sophia received an update in early 2018 that gave her usable legs and the capacity to move. Even if Sophia's responses were not altogether terrible, Jim Edwards, the chief UK editor of Business Insider, anticipated that Sophia was a step towards conversational artificial intelligence. 
A BBC News reporter described speaking with Sophia as a slightly awkward experience during the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show. Sophia demonstrated her abilities to draw, including portraits, in 2019. At the 36th Conference of Neural Information Processing Systems, a paper titled Open Arms that describes one of Sophia's open source subsystems was submitted. With that, we've come to the middle of this episode. Prior in the video, we've seen some female humanoid robots that work with AI. I hope that was as interesting to you guys as it was for us. In the next part, we're going to see the future of AI humanoids. But before we resume the video, please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. In particular, Narrow AI, which executes objective functions using data-trained models and frequently falls into the categories of deep learning or machine learning, has already had an impact on practically every significant business. The proliferation of connected devices, strong IoT connections, and ever faster computer processing have all contributed to a significant increase in data collecting and analysis during the past few years. Artificial intelligence has a crucial role in every area, including business and healthcare. We see a future in which AI will power robotics, along with an increase in robot use overall. The use of humanoid robots will rise. Are these humanoid robots genuinely marketable, or is everything simply a clever ruse? Scientists have encountered challenges while trying to create humanoid robots. It has also attracted a lot of attention throughout time. One of the major problems in the field of robotics is the ability to make robots exhibit human-like emotions. Previous attempts to build humanoid robots have included Sophia, a robot developed by Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based company. Over 50 human facial emotions may be seen on this humanoid robot. Sophia makes use of artificial intelligence, facial recognition, and visual data identification, and it can even mimic a few human facial emotions and gestures. The robot can hold a few brief talks about the specified themes using speech recognition technologies. These established high standards for the humanoid robots of the future. The ultimate helpers during natural catastrophes are anticipated to be humanoid robots in the future, who will accompany and aid people in their daily lives. Here are just a few ways that the robots will contribute to making the future a more comfortable place to live. These robotics might be incorporated into security systems. Future advancements in robotics promise to make it feasible to recognize and foresee criminal activity. Drone footage will also be used in this and offenses will shortly be identified. Security systems will be able to react more quickly by identifying suspicious activities with the aid of this technology. Even in the field of education, robots are used. Students will be able to easily study at their own pace with computer-based learning, which is difficult for a single instructor to really achieve. Despite not necessarily becoming professors, the robots will undoubtedly assist. We may anticipate seeing greater numbers of increasingly smart robots coexisting with the humans in more contexts. These upgraded robots won't replace workers, despite the predictions of doomsday profits with a gloomy mindset. In the face of new technologies that create new prospects for employment and education, industries flourish and fall, and some even become obsolete. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. You can feel free to watch some other videos on our playlist too, and we'll see you in the next video.